Well. 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 The only difference between Churchill and what I teach and what Orvis teaches is stance and barrel orientation. What he wrote about in terms of forward allowance, the theories of forward allowance, the theories of hand-eye coordination, I mean, they are no less true today than they were back then. I mean, and I think they're the gold star. Okay. Uh, I think stance is, is individualized, but somebody that's built like you, me, okay, um, you know, it's going to be a 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, or a... 12 o'clock, 10 o'clock sort of thing for a left-hander. Um, the more portly or inflexible a person is, um, the more open their stance should be, but never closed. Okay. Um, the other one is barrel orientation. To me, the, the, the character of the bird should dictate the barrel orientation. By barrel orientation, I mean, again, if you have a laser, where is that laser pointing the whole way through the mouth? Okay. So that's those are really the only two differences that between... Churchill's method and what I teach. So everything else is the same, um, and I think is is so true. And I frankly reject most other arguments to the contrary. Because I, I mean, it just uh, if you if you want to be a sporting clays um, shooter slash bird hunter, this is the style you know you you want to learn. <laughs> I love that stuff. <laughs>